Instead, he works his way back free. Granlund, fire score! Hello and welcome to the Puck Drops Here podcast. I'm your host, John Crawford, along with my brother, Howie. 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 Here for our... Halloween episode. Happy Halloween, everyone. Um, and as usual, I guess this is... How many times have we done this now, Howie? This is our third day. This is our third one? I um, so. Yep, we're going to reveal our costumes. And... Uh, I'll let you do the countdown, and then uh, we'll do it. I, I, I don't know why I never thought of this, because it's so easy. What? This costume. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, you get dressed like 30 seconds. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Do you, do you want to give me a clue of who you are? No, no, no. Okay. All right. Well, well, I'll, I'll say that I'm a famous fictional character. A famous fictional character. Okay, I'm a character that um, I just saw in a movie recently that I really enjoyed. Never any story. But he's a real life character. It was a, like a real life character. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, yeah, I'm ready. On, on three. Okay. Three, two, one, reveal. Do you know who I am? No. I'm, I that am. Take no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I I am um, T. Phineas Barnum <laughs> from, from Barnum Bailey Circus. I'm the ringmaster. Oh. <laughs> okay. Why aren't you Brown? <laughs> from the ch- from the greatest showman, the greatest show on earth. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, so you said you had to go pick up your costume. What did you get? The bald cap. What? Oh, the shirt. Oh, the shirt. <laughs> you could have yeah, made the shirt. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Coming this summer, it's Social Security, Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Good grief. <laughs> Good grief. I should have done uh, the Davy and Goliath thing. That would have been great. <laughs> All right. So how you been this week, Kelly? You had your days off. Did you enjoy, enjoy your days off? Uh, yeah, but I kind of paid the price because it's hard for me to get back into the swing of things. Uh-huh. <laughs> so you have the gout now again. Yeah, yeah, I got the gout. Nice. Um, now, one of these days, it's going to get me in both my feet at the same time. Oh, don't even say that. Don't even say that. I don't <laughs> wish... No, no, no. Oh, I don't wish that on anybody. It's the worst. I wouldn't even be able to, have to go to the bathroom. I'd have to get, like... I'd have to be supplied with, like, Depends or something. Or <laughs> Ludlow. <laughs> Some Ludlows. Just yeah. lay in my bed. Oh, that's the stuff. worst. I understand. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Is it? Are you, you're standing now? So is is it pretty bad right now? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to stand too long. I had, I had to suffer long enough standing for church, and that was like two and a half yeah. hours. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, speaking of church, uh, tonight we're having our trunk or treat thing at church. That's what we're doing. What is trunk or treat? People decorate the trunks of their car and then pass out candy uh, in the okay. parking lot, church parking lot. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. We're we're. Uh, I'm doing it with a group of people uh, from Martha's photo group thing. So we're gonna do. They're gonna be like dentists. So I'm gonna be a tooth fairy. Oh, there you go. So yeah. So you'll you'll see some pictures. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, this is what I'm wearing for the Halloween costume contest at my work on Wednesday. It's perfect. I'm drinking a beer. <laughs> and smoking a pipe for those, you know, are, are not watching on YouTube. And if you look right down here, Howie, right over there. Right over there, down there. You see, uh, Chart has his costume on. He is a ghost. The ah. <laughs> So, I, mm. Lucky's going as clean shaven. No more, no more mustache. Uh, he looks cute, but I like him better with a mustache. Yeah, we'll grow back. Yeah, he's cutie though. Hi, buddy. He looks younger. Yeah, he does. He looks good. Ah. Uh. All right. Is there anything else uh, happening this week, Howie? Uh no. All right. Do you have any hockey news? Um. Well, Wild have won uh, five in a row. Five well, I'm still waiting years? for the Kings to win. Uh, I think it's I'm still waiting for the Kings, and and they're in trouble, man. And we'll get to that. We'll get. They're in trouble because now they've lost Jonathan Quick indefinitely. I mean, he's gone. Oh, really? I oh, haven't yeah. heard that. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's done. See, that's what I was wondering because I was I was talking to someone at work about that. Well, we'll we'll get to that when we yeah. get into their division. Yeah. So uh, let let's uh, get into the standings. Hang on one second here. I gotta pour me some fresh soda. Okay. <clears throat> and we will start in the Atlantic as usual. And at the top, with no big surprise, is Toronto with 16 points, followed closely by, not a surprise, Tampa Bay, and then, uh, then followed by Montreal and Boston with 14 points, Buffalo with 13. Buffalo told you, Howie, they're going to be good this year. They, they, uh, they are. Yeah, they're really looking good. I, I like the way they're playing. Um, and they are followed by Otto with nine points, uh, Florida with seven, and Detroit with four. Uh, Detroit is hurting like the, ran like the 
Rams. Like the Kings. Uh, they've only won one game. And uh, they are a minus 20 differential. Not uh, good. But no surprises at the top. Uh, Toronto's looking really good. and uh, But I'm telling you, watch out for Buffalo. They could be that wild card team that I was talking about before. They very well could be. I don't remember where I had Buffalo. Uh, I, have I have to look real quick. Here. Uh, uh, oh, I have. I am in. I uh, know oh, that one's old. I I don't know if you had him going to the playoffs. But no, I didn't. No. Where did you have him? I can't find my thing. Oh, oh wait, I'll back. I can't find it either. Back too. But anyway. Oh, here it is. Uh, Buffalo, 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 Buffalo. I've been six. Hmm. All right, so how? Uh, let's I've move on six. to the Metropolitan. Charlie. Uh, I, Metropolitan I mean, sorry, I place. said, I said uh, Howie, it's uh, Charlie, uh, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have uh, Pittsburgh Penguins with 14 points, yep. followed by Carolina with 13 points. Uh, Columbus and Washington tied for third, both with 12 points. Uh, they are trailed by New Jersey with 11 points. Islanders with nine. They've kind of turned things around there. They oh, a little bit. Bad. Yeah, they're, yeah they're, they're playing a little better. Philadelphia with eight points. And the Rangers dead last in eighth with seven points. Yeah. So I think the big surprise for me there is Carolina. Uh, they're playing really well. Pittsburgh's no surprise. It's still, I mean, it's really tight. I mean, they're... they're yeah, they're it's still really tight. Uh, you know, we're still early. It's really tight. Yeah, we're still early this season, but all is good. Yeah. So moving on to the Central... Uh, no surprise here. Nashville leading the Central with 16 points. Well, tied with Colorado at 16 yeah. points. Colorado. Colorado's looking What? Colorado. They're looking good. They are really looking good. Uh, Winnipeg with 15. Minnesota with 14. Chicago with 14. Look how tight. It's, this division's always so tight. Uh, Dallas yeah. with 10, St. Louis with 9. And uh, I don't know. This could this division just changes, I think will change from week to week as as we get deeper in, I think. It, that's how tight I think it'll yeah, be. Yeah, I think it will. It's it's going to constantly fluctuate over who's in first, yeah. who's in second. Yeah, but, but Minnesota's playing really well. They've won their last 5. Um yeah. Uh, the, you know, I, by the uh, time we get together next week, they could be leading this division if they're playing like this. So <laughs> they very well could be. Uh, jumping over to the Pacific. Do we have to? Uh, first place have uh, actually tied for first place with the surprising Vancouver Canucks. We have San Jose, both teams with twelve points. That's crazy. Uh, Minnesota will play Vancouver next. Um, they are trailed by uh, actually three teams, all tied for, I guess, second place if you want to call it that. Yeah. Uh, Edmonton, Calgary, and Anaheim, all with 11 points. Yeah. Then they are, are followed by, surprisingly, Arizona with 10. Arizona with 10. Who but can? look at the point differential in the division. There's only two teams that have uh, yeah. a plus a plus differential, and that's Arizona and San Jose. Arizona now can actually look downward and see two mm -hmm. teams behind them. Uh, in seventh place, you have the Vegas Golden Knights with ninth points. And finally, in eighth place, 
You don't know what's going on there. Your Los Angeles Kings with five points. I think we need a big shakeup at this point. I think. Well, now now knowing that uh, Quake is out indefinitely, did they have they said what it is? His injury? Just a lower lower body injury. You know they don't. So it's more than likely just probably pulled a groin muscle. He's done. Uh, He's done. I think so. I, I think because I was talking to someone at work about this. I think uh, probably I, I I would say by they're going to have to pull they're going to have to pull the trigger here soon. I would think but at least I can't imagine it going into December. But I think they're going to have to make a big move yeah. for a goaltender. Yeah. Or there's going to be um, a big shakeup behind the bench, possibly. There just needs to be a big shakeup on this team, and it maybe maybe both needs to happen behind the bench, and uh, with a big uh, big trade somewhere. Something has to happen. Uh, it it's yeah. just yeah. It, this isn't good. The question good. is is who who has a solid? I guess because they're going to have to. I can't see them. Trading for a, a a current number one goaltender, they're going to have to go. I'm thinking with a solid backup. Well, they that they can't afford as number one, and the only one I can think of, and I don't know. Actually, there's two, and I don't know if either team would even be willing to give up. Hmm. And that would be. Um, Either uh, Morazic hmm. out of um, where is he at? Uh, now I can't even think of where he's at. I can't think of either. I can look it up. Oh no, no, yeah, he's in Boston. Oh uh, yeah. That or. Um, where is he at too? Now I can't think of where he's at. Is uh, Halak? They they need something bad, and I I think we might have to uh trade out one of our superstars to get somebody that it's we need. It's very possible. it's very possible. or they could they could actually because they have two solid goaltenders. One of which I know is a very qualified number one, previous number one goaltender. Hmm. It would be a uh, inner division trade if they do it. Would be Ryan Miller. That would be awesome. But who are you going to give up within the division? That's the thing. That uh, within who the division, that'd be up? hard to do. Do you get rid of yeah. a, uh, you know, like a Drew Doughty or Dustin Brown or a? Andre Kopitar or Tavoli, <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. Who, They're going to have to do something like that. They're going to have to get rid of somebody big to get somebody big. Because I can't see them going with Campbell the rest of the season. No, no. No. Or they bring in Schwinn. Schwinn Schwinn's a viable option. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Although that Ben State may not make it past the equipment challenge. <laughs> well, I know this yes. that that That's something has to happen. Theory. It has to happen fast in order for the Kings to stop this spiral downward and yeah, get I so far behind go- that they'll never catch up. I can't see it going through the entire month of November without no. them doing. Anything. I would think if they do it, it's got to be within the next two, three weeks. Yeah, they're, they're going to have to do something because this is, this is bad. This is really bad. I don't know. Uh, so that's it. Though That's our – that's the standings as of today, October 28th. Uh, as sad as it is for me. Um, Howie, do you have anything else to add? Uh, uh, 
Kings do play here, though, in about uh, half an hour. They'll yeah, be they playing the, uh, at home against the Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I saw, too, that. that and, uh, and, well, this is the, as bad as the Rangers are right now. If the Kings lose this, they're going to have to pull the trigger quick. Yeah. Yeah. They, they cannot lose to New York Rangers. <laughs> no. No. So. Be, this, this is going to be a very interesting game. Yeah. I might have to suck it up and stay up and watch instead of going to bed. <laughs> I may have to also. Uh, what else? Oh, did you see that they are celebrating uh, 25 years ago NHL 94 came out? <laughs> oh, who cares about that? When did Blade of Steel come out? Blade of Steel. <laughs> when did that come out? Blades of Steel. What a great uh, game that was. 1972. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo didn't come out until the 80s, right? Uh, I would say, I, I'd say like 89, 90, something like that. Maybe 91. You think? No, 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 no. Way before that, because I moved out here in 91. Let's, let's see. Hey, Google, when did Blades of Steel come out? I hear. 87. 1987. Wow. 1987. Thank you, Google. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, anything else, Ellie? Uh, negative. All right. So thank you all for listening and watching our podcast. Wow. You can go out to www.thepuckdropshare.com. Check out our past and present podcast on our podcast page. Give us a like on Facebook. We're on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, Patreon. And send us an email at johnhowie at thepuckdropshare.com. Uh, so with that, Howie, anything else? All right. Uh, nope. Uh, I'm just going to go hang out at the bar with Linus and, uh, <laughs> watch the hockey game. <laughs> all right, Charlie. So that, happy Halloween all. We bid you all adieu. Okay. Charlie Brown knows Russian. <laughs>